Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my Box 2D um, physics tutorial uh, series, I guess. Okay, um, in the previous video I showed you how to do this. Uh, it's a moving platform. And today I'm going to be showing you physics joints. So we're going to start off with a nice simple one, which is just a revolute joint. Okay, so um, if you have, don't have this set up, then you can go back to the first episode and just learn how to do it there. Although you don't necessarily have to do that because you can apply the same technique to whatever you want, really. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to make a sprite for a new object and I'm just going to call it SPR plank. It's just going to be like a plank of wood. Okay, so file new. I'm going to go 150 for the height. I don't really care about making it accurate to like any like grid or anything. And I'll just make it a brown colour to represent like a wooden plank. There we go. Okay, I'm going to center that. Now what we want to do is, seeing, this, seeing that that's centered, we want this value here, 75, we want to remember that. So yeah, remember 75. Okay, now we're going to make a new object for that. So we're going to give it the sprite name it, so just obj plank, remembering you don't have to use the same names, it's just as a, an example how it tick uses physics give it the box shape and check the collision marks which is all good and parent it to the dynamic parent ok that's done ok now what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect it to our moving platform to show you how the joint works Ok, so bring up your platform, and in the create event, hang on, I just got to resize this little window, almost, ok, now i equals instance create, and go x, now this is where we want that value, so y plus, now the value is 75, I'm going to make mine 70. And then obj plank. Okay, so what that's doing is creating the instance and setting that instance's ID to our variable i. Okay, now we can make our joint. So physics joint, and instead of typing it out, I'm just going to use the little drop down list here. Okay, we're going to use the physics joint revolute create. Okay, now instance one which we want to be our um, platform instance so I'm just going to write id and instance two it's going to be our plank instance that we just created which is i ok world anchor x this is where the joints x and y values are so where the joint is going to be connected to in the physics world so we're just going to go x and y ok lower angle limit we want zero upper angle limit we want zero is the limit enabled? No. For the motors, zero again, zero again, and zero again, and we don't want them to collide either, so zero again. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that there is it. That is literally all we're going to do to create this joint. Okay, so you don't have to change anything in the room, assuming that you have it set up the same as me. And we can just run it, and it should work. No guarantees, but should work. And there we have it. We've got our plank object hanging off the moving platform object. Now, as you can see, when the platform hits the turnaround point, it kind of gets a boost of swingingness stuff. And yeah. That's a overloot joint. Okay, um, let's well show you this while I'm here. I'm going to show you how to create a up and down moving platform. Now all we're going to do for this is just duplicate the platform we've already got. Damn it. Object platform vert. I'm not going to bother making a new sprite for it. Um, I'll just double check the collision shape ok and 
go into the create event and that's okay. Alarm zero is just the can. Okay. Now instead of setting the speed x, we want it to be speed y and speed by there as well and from there it should just work ok so just change those two variables it should work now I did leave the um, plank object attached to it as well so we can see how that goes moving up and down ok so I'm going to put the marker for this one all the way at the bottom and then I'll just plop that in between this marker here and that one there and there we are yeah so running that it should work and there we go it's moving up and down and it's still connecting and everything as you can see it kind of moves down through the plank when it when the plank hits the ground that's just because of the collisions it's not really a lot you can do about that but yeah that's a uh, up and down platform as well so yeah now we've got two moving platforms and one joint ok there are other joints you can do so for example the distance joint so just go in here I'll go physics joint and then I'll just grab it from here that distance create Now I've never actually used this one, so I just got to check the variables. Okay, so moving down here, we have the first instance, second instance, the world anchor, X and Y. Um, we've got two world anchors and the collide instances. So okay, I get this. Okay, so basically we're just going to keep this the same. Okay, so instance 1 is ID, instance 2 is I. What anchor X is X and Y, but in this one we've got to have two what anchors, so we're going to set the second one to I.X and I.Y, and then we won't collide them, so set that to false. Now, from memory, what this does it is it creates a joint where, um, like, the distance between the two points that we just set is maintained the whole time from memory it doesn't allow movement like up and down between the points but it might so we'll find out okay so yeah just run that and there you go so as you can see it's kind of swinging around there um, I've got no rotation in it, so... Alright, we'll, to add rotation we'll just give it something to hit. Oops. Okay, so I'll just stack these up, I guess. That'll work. Might add in one more. Just to make sure that it hits. And that should do it. Okay, so yeah, just run that. And there we go, there's your rotation in it. So as you can see it's not connected to the block specifically, but it's maintaining the distance between the two points that we set. So yeah, that is the distance joint as well. Uh, let's see what other joints we've got. used any of the other joints so that's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial okay as usual hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial hope you learnt something once again subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like the video um, again as I said in the previous episode I've set up a Facebook page 
if you'd like that too, that'd be nice. If not, whatever. Doesn't matter all that much. But yeah. Hope you learnt something and I'll